This table was suffering from a terrible case of UCTS. Uh, that would be ugly coffee table syndrome. After 10 years, three children, and about 3,000 dinners, the finish was a mess. Even the dog had taken a chunk out of it. But it was a good solid wood table, so I decided to give it another life by refinishing it. And I'll show you how you can do the same. This video was sponsored by my friends at Minwax. A lot of people think refinishing is all about the finish, and it is, in part. The other part of it that's not so glamorous is the sanding. And you're gonna do a lot of sanding. With a film-forming finish like this, which was probably a polyurethane or a lacquer of some sort, the only way to really remove it effectively is to sand it and sand it good. It's hard work, but you're gonna to need to go through at least four grits. In this case, I went 80, 120, 180, and 220 grit, working up judiciously through each grit so I made sure I got every single bit of this table covered by each grit. Of course, taking a water break between each grit. Between grits, I marked it with pencil. Once the pencil marks were gone, I knew I had sanded enough. If you have any repairs, make sure to get those all taken care of before staining and use a stainable filler. For that, I got my seven-year-old's help. Now you're gonna press it into place. Like this? Yep. Press it in. Smush it in there. Okay, is it smushed in? Let go. Okay. And then come with me with your one hand, kind of smush it in there. After curing, I sanded the repair smooth and I was just about ready for stain. Then it was time to wipe the table down with a damp cloth to open up the grain of the wood so it can more easily accept the stain. I'm using Min Wax's good old fashioned yellow cans of wood stain. This is an oil stain, I'm using dark walnut, and this is just one of my favorite stains. It penetrates and looks so beautiful on woods. Hardwood, softwood, whatever it is, they've got a lot of different colors, and you can kind of mix and match if you need to, to match your exact needs or find one of their stock colors like I'm using here. You're gonna apply liberally, let it sit for five minutes or so, and then come back and wipe off the excess. Five minutes later, the table was ready to be wiped down and then I could just let it sit overnight while the stain cured. Now that I had my color right, it was time to put a protective finish on the table and I didn't want to use a film forming finish like last time. So I opted for Minwax's Paste Finishing Wax. This will give a nice soft matte, even satin sheen. If I ever need to renew the finish, I wouldn't have to sand everything down again. I buffed the wax on using 4-0 steel wool, and this helps me get a buttery smooth feel to the wood because the fine grit steel wool actually polishes the wood surface while waxing it. It's a bit of an unorthodox technique using steel wool, and you should always follow the instructions on the can. There wasn't too much left of the steel wool when I was finished. And then it's time to buff it off 15 minutes later with a clean cotton rag. But there must be a faster way, right? I grabbed an orbital polisher, put the rag on top of it, and it made short work of polishing the table. The wax gave a really nice finish, and I was so in love with the finished product. No more ugly coffee table, just a buttery smooth finish that's super easy to care for thanks to Minwax. 
This is definitely something any DIYer can do. No big tools needed, just some elbow grease and the right products. If you've got some furniture that needs some love, check out the description below to learn more about the products Minwax has to help. And check out some of these other great videos, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here for more great old house content.